Good day, learners. It is wonderful to be on this platform again. Today, we shall be discussing about farm structures and buildings. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to define farm structures, explain at least four types of farm structures with two examples for each, define farm buildings, explain at least four types of farm buildings with two examples for each, farm structures. Farm structures are immovable, simple and moderate frameworks, which are not machines, built to make certain farm operations easier. They are classified according to their uses. That is, farm structures are classified according to their uses. Classification of farm structures and their uses. Number one, we have the production structures. These are structures used in production processes on the farm. Examples include battery cage, fish pond, rabbit hutch, and paddock. The next one we have the processing structures. Processing structures are used to speed up processing of farm produce. Example of processing structure we have the abattoir, curing house for tobacco. We have uh, the feed mill. And we have the smoking house for fish. Other examples of processing structure are the shelling bands for melon, grains for cups, shades to accommodate processing machines such as grinding machines, rice mills, and many more. The next one we have the storage structures. Storage structures are used for storing farm produce before sale or used as input in the coming season. Examples of storage structures are the creep. Creep are used for storing maize cups and guinea cones. It can be made of bamboo, wood, or iron. We have the rhombos. Rhombos are used for storing grains. They are made of mold with thatch roof. So we have silo. Silos are used for storing harvested grains in bulk after shelling. They are mostly cylindrical in shape and constructed of metal, aluminium, rubber, or concrete. Another example of storage structure is a cold room. Cold store in the form of refrigeration, freezing, fridges, cold rooms, cold vans, and lorries can also be used as storage structures. We have the beans, storage beans. Storage beans are small plastic or metal container for storing grains. We have the ban. Bands are used to store yams and coquiam. Yam tubers are tied and may are tied one above the other of takes. The next Farm structure is a shelter structure. These are constructed and located at different points on the farm to provide shelter for resting and for animals to hide from heavy rainfall or high sun intensity. They can occasionally be used as temporary warehouses for harvested produce before marketing or storage. Number five, we have the maintenance structure. These include workshops for maintaining machines, farm tools, implements, and training of staff. We have now the utility structures.
Utility structures include wells, dams, irrigation canals, drainage canals, and water pumping houses. Farms State. Farm State is an area on the farm which consists of all the buildings and structures for the farmers' habitation and agricultural enterprises. Farm buildings. These are more elaborate constructions due to serve more than one purpose or function. Classes of farm buildings and their uses. Number one, we have the farmer's dwelling staff, the farmer's dwelling or staff quarters. These are houses providing accommodation for farmers and workers. This enables the farmers to attend to crops and animals when needed. The next type of farm building is production houses. These are buildings used for production. Example of such, we have hatcheries, pens, and houses. storage houses. These are buildings for the storage of farm produce, feeds, fertilizers, herbicides, insecticides, fungicides and vaccines. We have the farm offices. These are buildings used in large-scale operational farms. They serve as coordination center for activities like sales and record keeping, security posts to register movement of people and goods in and out of the farm, special shelters. These include quarantine houses, sick bay, and many more. Maintenance practices of farm structures. We shall look at maintenance practices of some of the farm structures. And one of them shall be the feed mill. Adequate quantity of spare parts should be kept for maintaining feed mill. Grinders, mixer, and hopper should be kept in good condition. They should be cleaned regularly. The next farm structure we shall be looking at is the silo. Silos should be thoroughly inspected after erection to ensure that they are watertight and reasonably gas tight. Adequate quantity of spare parts for maintaining mechanical system of silo should be kept. Whenever silo is empty, it must be cleaned out. Working area around the silo must be kept free of residue and dust to reduce the threat of insect and rodent infestation. Broken sheet of a silo wall should be properly replaced. The next one we shall be looking at are the canals. Canals should be inspected for weed growth and silk deposit and be kept clean for free flow of irrigation water. Broken parts of the canal should be reconstructed. Open block irrigation and drainage canal. Maintenance practices of farm buildings. We shall be looking at some of the general maintenance practices farm buildings. Repair and replace leaking roofs of offices, residential houses, workshops, poultry houses, etc. properly. Repair cracks on the walls and floors. 
repair or replace damage or broken doors, windows, ceiling and fittings. Floors of animals' pens should be cleaned regularly. Apply preservatives such as solignum on woods to prevent damages by termites and other insects. The painting and painting of the houses should be done regularly or periodically. Feeding and drinking troughs must be washed clean to prevent fungal growth and dead accumulation. Assessment What are farm structures? List five types of farm structures with three examples for each. What are farm buildings? List four types of farm buildings you know. Explain four ways of maintaining farm buildings. If you find it difficult to answer this assessment question, you can go over the video again. Thank you for being here today.